you hear me? Okay. So uh, today um, I'd like to uh, give a talk on uh, uh, SMR, Shingled uh, Magnetic Recording. This is a technique for uh, hard disk uh, media recording. And uh, 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 first of all, uh, it's a request to warn you, I'm not the expert of a hard disk drive. Or uh, I'm not the expert of uh, this kind of uh, electromagnetic uh, technology or something like that. I'm going to talk about you know, the viewpoint of from the viewpoint of the users. Um, uh, when, I, when I was uh, working on the uh, distributed story system, um, I just have a chance to use this kind of new uh, hard disk, uh, slightly new uh, hard disk. So I'd like to share the. Uh, no, how can I say uh, that, uh, <coughs> this kind of hard disk? Um, and uh, I think um, you know, or hard disk, what is a hard disk drive? This is a uh, very uh, long time, uh, first end device for data storage. Um, I, uh, Google Sensei talked to me, uh, told me uh, that first commercial hard disk unit was shipped in uh, 1956. Uh, from IBM, um, that was in a twenty-four inch radius uh, disk. Um, uh, from that area, uh, we uh, humanity uh, has been um, getting along with um, this kind of uh, rotating uh, storage medium. Um, so the uh, storage structure is uh, basically this kind of thing. Uh, the, the very fastest one. Um, our first DRA and uh, acceptably uh, first working through uh, hard disks. Um, the bottom is the table of uh, But um, hard disk is the first, uh, how can I say, uh, non volatile non storage. So we uh, have been using uh, this kind of uh, drives. And this shows a bias shipment share. Uh, so hard disks are still dominant device in uh, memory and storage area in <coughs> in capacity uh, bytes. So <coughs> we're still uh, mainly using uh, hard disk for uh, storing our data. Um, how the hard disk works? Um, this thing, the uh, left side is a uh, physical view of the hard disk. Um, there are uh, ma mainly the hard disk. Uh, consists of two parts, a uh, uh, media and head. Um, the uh, media uh, part is uh, rotating uh, up about uh, from uh, 55,000 to 1,500, uh, 15,000 uh, run per minute. Now, the uh, right side is a logical view, logical view of the hard disk. Um, uh, the uh, part is basically uh, <coughs> logically divided um, into uh, uh, concentric um, rings, uh, like an uh, 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 annual tree uh, rings or something like that. And each um, <coughs> uh, truck is uh, divided into a uh, sector. And the sector uh, is uh, basically, uh, sector is uh, um, basically a minimum access unit for this device. Um, traditionally, it was uh, 5 and 12 bytes. Um, uh, currently, uh, we usually use uh, 4 kilobytes for uh, this sector. Uh, usually, these sectors are indexed by uh, not a location, but a uh, simple uh, integer number from 1 to uh, the max number of uh, the total number of uh, sectors available. available. Uh, so called sector number or uh, recently so called uh, logical block address. And um, the API is uh, um, so bit, I guess, weird. Um, all sectors are mapped into the linear byte address in most OSs. So you can uh, say, uh, I need a four byte from uh, nine uh, bytes from the beginning or something like that. But actually, uh, hard disk is uh, only a sector other several devices, so you cannot uh, read or write uh, only one byte or something like that. 
So, uh, but usually user doesn't care about that because it always hides uh, this uh, restriction. So if you are uh, going to modify uh, only one byte, uh, the OS reads and the whole sector from the hard disk, uh, modify the uh, byte uh, the user uh, six byte, and write back the whole sector to the hard disk. So this is so called, uh, the, uh, this is a major block device, so called block device. Um, so we uh, um, worked with the uh, hardest for us, as uh, Google said, uh, 60 years or something like that. But uh, here comes a uh, new challenge, um, a very strong challenge. Uh, is a, it's a uh, solid state drive. Um, yeah, and this kind of drive uses uh, silicon based memory, non brother memory, uh, typically a NAND based flash memory. Um, it's um, usually much faster than a hard disk. A um, bit or much expensive, uh, but uh, acceptable for uh, some uh, rich people. Um, SSD and uh, IPI is basically a, uh, very compatible with uh, hard disks, so you, know, you can replace a uh, hard disk with SSD uh, without any modification of your application or your words or something like that. So, mm, that currently, uh, SSD is uh, becoming uh, to be a uh, second tier uh, of the storage device uh, uh, in terms of performance. Uh, so this is now uh, that left number is in latency. So hardest uh, usually around uh, 10 milliseconds or something like that. Uh, SSD usually um, this is at uh, 10 to 100 uh, microsecond, but sometimes it takes a one millisecond. But uh, usually uh, around uh, 100 uh, microseconds or something like that. So, uh, but um, the um, SSD, uh, you, SSD, the capacity of drive capacity of SSD is uh, a bit smaller than uh, hard disk, um, like an, uh, uh, 128 gigabytes, uh, 256 gigabytes, something like that. Yeah. Or hard disk usually, uh, uh, hey, we are got terabytes or something like that. Uh, but uh, finally. Uh, welcome to the terabyte product. So, uh, SSD, uh, the left side, the, the newest uh, Samsung Liberate drive, uh, they are announced uh, we are going to sell uh, 30 terabytes in a uh, uh, two and a half inch form factor um, SSDs uh, in uh, this year, uh, later this year, sometime. And uh, the uh, cutting edge of the uh, hard disk uh, still. Uh, 14 terabyte uh, in a uh, three and a half inch uh, form factor. Uh, so it's a bit hard, uh, hard uh, to uh, say uh, that hard disk it, it has um, a large capacity um, or something like that. So the, uh, and uh, the, the market focus is something like this. Um, uh, we are uh, here. Uh, 2018, so uh, hard disk um, market share um, might be uh, um, around 70%. Um, in uh, 20 and 25, um, they are for table 4 to uh, 15, uh, 50 percent of uh, the market share. Uh, it's a bit harsh for hard disk. So. <coughs> The point at where on yes, um, hard disk uh, is but still much uh, cheap. So, um, but uh, that uh, they have to uh, keep uh, much cheaper than uh, keep the portion. Uh, it's much cheaper <coughs> than uh, SSD. So uh, they have to uh, increase their um, capacity. However, um, the words uh, words that error density golf is uh, really throwing for throwing for uh, hard disk hard disk um, value. Uh, from um, uh, 1960 to uh, 2000, um, that CSE uh, or uh, uh, or site is a uh, really good. It's like a more slow, um, uh, around 60 percent to 100 percent, but uh, from um, 2000 or uh, 2005 
uh, it's uh, get uh, slowly. Um, so the uh, left size is uh, um, the report from IBM at uh, 2009, and the right side is an, uh, the uh, from the uh, at the uh, 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 to 2015. Uh, so this is. So this is actual, uh, some kind of actual um, uh, data. So the hardest, or what it looks into, is open at the moment. So um, the uh, gross, year gross rate is around 10%. Uh, it's very uh, severe for, this, uh, for the hard disk uh, team. Um, not uh, in control, uh, they get a uh, 40% uh, year growth rate. So, uh, well, uh, basically, uh, our density growth of the HDD is supported by a technology of uh, something like a head or media. Um, but there are no, uh, if I can remember correctly, there are no uh, innovation uh, over there. So, well, they need to push up uh, this uh, error density. So, um, uh, without uh, some uh, kind of um, battery support. So, um, this is an um, uh, head and uh, truck uh, picture. Um, basically, uh, current hard disk has uh, uh, two, uh, two heads uh, for read and for write. Um, the uh, red head is a bit uh, thinner than the, the right head. So, uh, in nature, uh, the truck uh, pitch can be uh, not more than uh, current drive. <coughs> However, uh, uh, if the uh, truck pitch is uh, get uh, uh, much more dense, um, that the uh, area uh, density uh, Get higher. However, the right head is uh, it's a bit difficult. Uh, or <laughs> they said that it's a uh, bit difficult. Uh, get narrowed. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, so uh, <coughs> you cannot uh, uh, get. It's very hard to increase the uh, truck density because uh, the right head is a bit a uh, bit uh, thicker. Uh, uh, they cannot change uh, for few years. <coughs> so they decided, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, we just make uh, uh, the truck pitch uh, uh, closer. So uh, they going to write, uh, uh, make a uh, overlap truck uh, like an uh, shingles uh, on roofs. So this is called an uh, SMR single magnet recording. Um, so, uh, the uh, ordinary uh, conventional uh, hard disk, uh, yeah, they're uh, uh, so called conventional hard disks. Uh, the truck is uh, uh, completely uh, discrete, uh, so each truck is uh, separated. But uh, in single magnetic recording, the truck is overlapped. Um, that overlap truck is so-called zone or band, um, and so this gets uh, much uh, get, you get uh, much more trucks uh, in uh, surface, so that uh, air density uh, gets higher. Now, uh, and uh, using this technology, uh, they will gain uh, 50 to uh, 25 hour, usually they said that 20 percent or something like that, uh, more capacity, uh, actual capacity. Um, and uh, this can be done with you know, uh, only for one modification. There are no uh, 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 upper physics, uh, no magnetic or recording specialist or something like that. Uh, they only need a uh, firmware program. Uh, <coughs> so uh, it's very uh, convenient for uh, this um, uh, uh, very convenient to get uh, the density higher. However, uh, just someone like said, you know, humanity uh, can gain 
anything, whether or not uh, first giving uh, something in return, and so. <coughs> Uh, there is, uh, uh, of course, drawbacks. Um, uh, as you, part as you already uh, have uh, noticed that um, uh, you, we uh, lose the uh, capability of uh, random write. Uh, so that uh, all data uh, must be our writing a sequential manner. Uh, must write must be started from the uh, beginning of band, uh, just a band. A wizard gap, a wizard rewind, and uh, uh, until the uh, end of band, uh, it, it's usually uh, 100 or 200 megabytes, and uh, so it's a very hard. Uh, sounds really hard, but some uh, algorithm might fit you know, like an uh, LSM tree. Uh, so uh, it might be not. I don't know, uh, but. Uh, so, if you want to modify uh, somewhere in the middle of the band, uh, you just perform, uh, you have to perform uh, read and modify write on the band. So, uh, you have to read the whole the band, uh, modify the data, uh, even if it's one byte, and write back uh, the whole band, a uh, few hundred megabytes. And uh, boundaries should be okay. It's, uh, there are no differences between uh, CM1 and CM1. So uh, we need a new APIs, uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, ZBC, uh, ZLAC, uh, ZLBC for SCSI, and ZLAC for ADA, uh, or uh, SATA, uh, S S S CR ADA. Um, but those two are uh, semantically uh, same. Uh, uh, just for because you just for uh, and zero idea or something like that. And uh, on this new API, our uh, logical spaces uh, divided into so-called zones. Uh, you can uh, think the uh, zone is uh, that single the app end, uh, but there are uh, some exceptions. Um, uh, each SMR zone, uh, also known as a uh, sequential write uh, record zone. Uh, was has a uh, right pointer. Uh, uh, that right pointer is automatically advanced on the right, so uh, the application must uh, follow uh, or uh, must write uh, just uh, after the uh, right pointer. And uh, also must issue a reset right pointer uh, command when uh, you want to rewrite uh, the whole the band. And <coughs> Host, well, uh, host can control the distinction of the zone, so uh, it's uh, very uh, convenient uh, for some uh, algorithm application. Uh, and uh, the, so, application uh, usually uh, use uh, three main command, uh, four main commands. Uh, uh, our first report zone. So, how many zones? Uh, what kind of zones uh, do you have? Uh, some uh, some drive can uh, have a uh, conventional zone, no, not SMR zone. So, uh, if the drive have a conventional zone, application can uh, uh, random write uh, on the on the zones. And um, <coughs> this right pointer is uh, rewinds the right pointer, and, and um, the application open. Uh, a certain zone and uh, right uh, sequentially and uh, close zone. Uh, open close. Uh, when the application open, uh, the uh, drug firmware uh, must re must remember the uh, status of the zone on the right point or something. Like that. So it consumes the uh, firmware resources. So uh, the uh, simultaneous open, uh, the number of the uh, simultaneously open uh, zone is uh, limited. <coughs> And our applications uh, that are using this kind of drive have to follow uh, this kind of uh, API to use uh, this kind of API. And uh, there are three types of drive for uh, SMR. The first one is uh, host managed. Uh, this is this drive is uh, not com <coughs> not compatible with uh, conventional hard disk. So. Uh, the must forward the new command, and uh, your application uh, or operating system need to modify uh, to 
uh, in the uh, access module uh, to the disk. And contrary, uh, there is a uh, so-called drive managed. Uh, this, is, this drive is a free backward compatible with conventional SSD. So you can use, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, SMR drive uh, as a uh, usual uh, hard disk drive. You don't need uh, no software modifications. Uh, but of course, uh, there are some <coughs> uh, with, uh There are some, uh, how can I say, uh, implications, uh, especially for live performance. And uh, the final one, the host hardware. This is a hybrid uh, or superset of uh, two drivers. You can use a uh, new command, or uh, you can use uh, as a, a conventional, like a conventional drive. Uh, now, uh, talking about a drive managed uh, SMR, how does it work? Of course, uh, it depends on the vendor. Uh, they don't uh, tell us uh, uh, the detail of the uh, algorithm or something like that. But basically, uh, the uh, how can I say, uh, method would be something like this. Uh, the, uh, all the uh, incoming uh, user data is uh, uh, usually goes to the uh, conventional zone, um, uh, sometimes cache uh, or something like that. But uh, in um, uh, drive managed SMR, the cache area is uh, in invisible uh, to the user. And so drive only knows the location and uh, write down the, uh, the zone like a cache. And you know when uh, the drive gets idle, um, uh, Drive uh, read uh, the um, user data and uh, perform the read multiple write uh, to the destination destination uh, band uh, or zone. Now, uh, if the incoming uh, data is uh, uh, large enough and uh, it seems to be a secure write, uh, perhaps the drive can uh, uh, go uh, write. That the data directly to the ground. Uh, it's something like an unusual uh, uh, SMR uh, API or something like that. So, yeah. In um, so the the uh, drive managed SMR uh, hides this um, uh, restriction. Uh, SMR restriction. Um, you have to uh, write data sequentially um, and. Um, Drive itself uh, perform a read modifier, I think. <laughs> well, of course, uh, there are drawbacks. Uh, and that performance of uh, drive managed SMR in the real life. Uh, so, this is from a uh, search reviews uh, a benchmark. Uh, they perform a uh, 4 kilobyte uh, random read and random write, 100% workload. Uh, the left is read. Uh, our uh, light is uh, right, and the uh, y-axis shows an uh, IOPS, um, uh, how many IOs uh, can be completed in second. And usual drive uh, performs an 100 or 200, I uh, shows a 200 IOPS, something like that. But um, uh, this SMR drive already is okay, uh, one um, and 38. Um, IOPS, but on the right is uh, only three IO in a second. So it's very slow drive. Uh, but um, it's an average. <laughs> so uh, time series uh, uh, shows you a, a different view. Uh, if uh, there is a uh, space in the conventional zone, cache, of course, uh, it shows a, a good random write performance. Uh, it's uh, like a sequential write. So, uh, but uh, once it's ex exhausted, uh, what is it? Uh, the rate is surprisingly, surprisingly uh, high. Gets high. So, uh, here. Uh, so this is CMR. Uh, shows a sustainable uh, performance, but. Uh, this is an SMR. The, the, this region, uh, the SMR drive can use uh, its buff, uh, buffer or uh, conventional zone, so it, it um, 
bit higher um, than uh, CMR disk. Well, once uh, the buffer is exhausted, the uh, performance uh, falls. And, uh, in this area, the drive might uh, perform a uh, little modified right to uh, flush uh, the data from that uh, buffer. So uh, this is my summary. Uh, so SMR expect to extend the hard disk capacity more than 20% something like that. Uh, without uh, hardware or material modification, only a firmware modification, basically. <coughs> And uh, trucks uh, partially overlap, uh, like uh, shingles on a roof. And uh, so you know, we can gain uh, truck density. And uh, it, uh, uh, so we get more capacity from the drive. Uh, there are three drive types, uh, host managed, uh, strict drive. Uh, usually, um, those drives just for data center or uh, enterprise or something like that. And, and drive managed. Uh, it's compatible, uh, uh, compatible layer within the har uh, firmware. So um, this is basically for an, uh, us, a uh, consumer. Uh, and host hardware, uh, this is supposed to, you can uh, choose um, uh, dynamically uh, host manager or drive or something like that. And so incompatible changes uh, to uh, conventional hard disk uh, access methods, um, all right, uh, must be uh, sequential. And uh, drive, but drive managed uh, had this restriction, but uh, the right performance may vary uh, for your uh, workload. Um, and that's all. Uh, do you have any uh, questions? Uh, none, none about this, but I think uh, maybe Five, ten years ago, there was an announcement, I think by Toshiba, that they had three dimensional hard disks. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't know. Okay. I, well, if you don't know about it, then I guess nothing happened from it. But where they had the data could stand up and then they could do writes on it and then it would fall down, kind of. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, I guess it didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> but that rings me in. Um, <clears throat> So uh, this kind of a uh, very uh, large uh, um, uh, band, uh, it goes in a hundred megabytes, something like that. Uh, uh, but uh, it's, you can be uh, 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 only, uh, see, only in a sequential manner. It's very similar to um, NAND device, SS, uh, used in SSD. The NAND, uh, you can uh, perform random write on they are the, um, I can say, um, the circle. Uh, they, they don't have uh, such interface. They are not only accepts a very similar sequential right uh, for the uh, uh, so-called Elias block. Um, uh, if you want to uh, relate uh, the uh, data, uh, this uh, uh, in SMR, just uh, rewind the right pointer. And uh, in that, uh, just erase the erase block, and so it's very similar. And um, uh, so now uh, some SSD guys uh, is already discussing about the new API for uh, fit that uh, nature of an uh, how can I say append only uh, situation. <coughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> now, any other questions? Okay, uh, thank you.